Hi everybody, Mrs. Tortolo here, and I'm here today with my daughter Evie, who is in sixth grade and who is a big reader. So she is here to help me talk about some of the books on the summer reading list that I put together, because she helped me put it together. So what we're going to do, we're not going to talk about every book on the list, because there's a lot of books on the list, but we're going to talk about just a few of the books, and Evie's going to tell you about some of her favorite books on the list, and then I will tell you about some too. So, do you want to go first? Yeah, sure. Okay. Stop. So, this book is a graphic novel that's really good. It's about this little black kid who loves doodling, and he moves to this new school, and they're kind of racist there, and he sort of has to learn how to fit into the school. And it's very, it's a very good book, and it kind of helps you understand, like, how people are treated exactly how they should be. And Evie loves books by Raina Telgemeier, The Babysitter's Club, those kind of books. So if you're somebody who likes those graphic novels that tell stories, I think you might like this one too. So that is New Kid by Jerry Craft. That's one of the books on our list. Um, the next book I'm going to tell you about, I have two books here, because this book, I think you, most of you will know, it's called The One and Only Ivan, and it is an awesome chapter book about a gorilla who's kept in a shopping mall zoo who becomes friends with an elephant. And the reason I mention this book is because this book just came out and it's the sequel. It's called The One and Only Bob. So if you read this book, and if you didn't, you should read it first, there's a dog in this book called Bob. In this book, Bob tells the story and Bob goes on an adventure with Ivan the gorilla, Ruby the elephant, and they go to try and find Bob's long lost sister so that's the one and only bob start with the one and only ivan that's what my son and i are doing this summer actually and then we're going to move on to this one all right evie next you want to do another graphic no oh, yeah, do a chapter book okay. this time so this book is called the world ends in april it's basically about this girl who finds this website that says the world is going to end and her grandfather has always been a prepper which means like they prepare for the world to end. She's, so she gets really into preparing for the world to end and kind of gets obsessed with it, and it starts a crazy thing at the school. So it's a very interesting book, and it also, like, it kind of somehow relates to the pandemic a little bit because the things that she's seeing that will be like that, like having to lock down is also kind of what's happening right now. So it's yeah, kind of an interesting one. book to read. There we go. That's The World Ends in April by Stacey McAnulty. She wrote um, another book, The Miscalculations of Lightning Girl, which is also really good, and you might recognize that one from the library. The next book on our list that we're going to mention is A Wolf Called Wonder by Roseanne Parry. And I know a lot of you asked about this one in the spring. We do have it in the library now. This is based on the true story of a real wolf. It's a young wolf cub who was separated from his pack and he goes on this journey of more than a thousand miles across the Pacific Northwest and he has to deal with forest fires and hunters and highways and he's hungry and it's so you go on this adventure with him. So if you like books about nature and animals and great adventure stories, give a shot A Wolf Called Wonder. So this is probably one of my favorite books on the list because it's another memoir by Raina Telgemeier. Telgemeier. <laughs> and it's basically about how when she was younger she had a fear of throwing up and it got really serious. So she had to sort of learn how to control her fear and I think it's really a great relatable no graphic novel because it's got a lot of like she's really good at basically like explaining things that we have as well but we don't know how to explain them and so that's why it's her books are really good because it's very realistic yeah and she i'm sure you will all recognize the other books that reina telgemeier has written smile sisters drama ghosts so this is guts and i will just let you know if you can't find a copy of this this summer we have lots of copies of it at the school library so if you don't get to read it over the summer make sure you read it in the fall when you come back um so the last book i have to tell you about i don't have the book with me so i just printed out a copy of the cover 
This is called Blended by Sharon Draper. She also wrote a book called Out of My Mind, which is another great book. This book, Blended, I'm just looking at my notes here to make sure I don't forget. This is about a girl named Isabella and she is 11 and she's a piano prodigy. That means she's a really amazing piano player. And her dad is black and her mom is white and they are divorced, so they share custody. So she's already feeling kind of divided because she goes back and forth between her parents and one parent's black, one parent's white. Um, and so it's sort of about her thinking about her place in the world and what it means to have one black parent, one white parent, what it means to have parents who are divorced. It's a really just great relatable story about what it means to be a kid today. So that is Blended by Sharon Draper. And I think Edie has two more to talk about. Okay. So this book, I actually listened to it as an audiobook, so it's a very good audiobook. It's about this girl who, after like go, getting in a serious tornado accident, her entire house is destroyed. And she doesn't really know, but she sort of had sh these gay feelings for like other girls. And she sort of tries to... There's an art show, and she is to try to figure out a way to like tell the world that she's gay, and it's it's a very inspirational novel. And yeah. yeah, and it's about figuring out who you are and the feelings you're having, but done in a way that's very appropriate for fourth, fifth, sixth graders. Um, so that's Ivy Aberdeen. Ah, sorry, Ivy <laughs> Aberdeen's Letter to the World by Ashley Herring Blake. And Evie has one more graphic novel to tell us about. So this book is probably one of a more fun read if you enjoy like enjoying books. So it's about this girl who finds out there's so she starts working for this person so that she can make money and she finds out that they're actually a witch and she gets really interested in this job so she sort of wants to become a witch. So it's about sort of how she she doesn't really fit in very well and she kind of feels like she's destined to be a witch, and she almost becomes a witch, and it's it's very, it's a very, like, it's a little bit magical, but not as much as, like, most magical books, but yeah, it's very, it was very fun to read for me. So that's Snapdragon, which is a graphic novel. And just as with Guts, all of these books we have in the school library. So if any of them sound really good to you and you just don't get around to reading them this summer, make sure you come see me in the fall and you ask for these books um, so you can check them out. And also make sure to take another look at the list of these books, the summer reading list, because there are book trailers for all of these books that we talked about. So you can click and watch videos on YouTube that give you like a little clip of um, what the book is like. So read lots this summer, read every day. That's what we're going to be doing. Yeah. And have an awesome summer. Bye. Bye.